Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get into your tarot cards when, once we're done with that. Aquarius, we're going to get into the oracle cards to see what direct message spirit has for you. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Valentine's. Uh, love be bestowed upon all of you guys. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. How are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. I hope um, that things are really moving forward in a very positive season, Aquarius. We're definitely going into, we're in your era now. So major changes in regards to love, finances, anything, pretty much every single aspect of your life. It's going to be very, very much uh, challenged and transformed. But with changes, there is growth. So that's definitely a beautiful thing. Let's get into your reading and see what spirit has. Now, your first card here is the Seven of Wands, feeling a bit guarded here. We have the Tower card, heavy energy. Okay, we have the King of Swords. This is your energy here in your reading, Nine of Wands. Okay, I see you guys very challenged, Aquarius. We have the Page of Cups, the Sun card, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so you may actually be feeling these major changes already unfolding. With the Seven of Wands and the Tower, I see you guys being very guarded. Uh, something has been really shaken in your life. Uh, you're being tested right now, Aquarius, and I think that for a lot of you guys, this has a lot to do with your like getting out of your own comfort zone. Um, I don't see it in a negative, as you can see here. The tower always represents a tower moment in our life. This is something that is going to shake us. This is something that is going to affect us and make us see things from a very different perspective, whether we're ready or not. However, when the tower shows up, this indicates that this change or this transformation has already happened. Now, if you can see here at the bottom, we have the sun card. So again, these changes that are unfolding these challenges that you're currently going through are propelling you to the next cycle in your life. This is pushing you forward in the most beautiful way because this is the moment where Aquarius becomes the butterfly, where you are being transformed, where you're being challenged here with the Seven of Wands. There are situations surrounding you at this present time where you may feel like you're not in control of your life. You may feel like you are fearful in some way, uh, fearful of change. You can already be experiencing this, Aquarius. You can already be experiencing a lot of restlessness, a feeling of uneasiness, a feeling of, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's coming, but I feel like something's coming. Definitely. What's coming to you is blessings, is growth. It is achieving. It is manifesting the life that you want. But it cannot come through comfortability. It cannot come through other forums that you've already trialed and tested in the past. So what they're telling you here, Aquarius, for the month of February if you're being restricted in regards to your finances, if you feel like things are not moving forward as quickly as you would want or things are not progressing in a positive way, what Spirit is telling you is learn to manage this fear or this feeling of stuckness, feeling of not being able to be in control of your life, okay? So the best way of describing it is almost a feeling of kind of panicking or freaking out because you feel like you can't, like you don't understand why things are unfolding the way they are. Um, like you cannot, like you cannot control outside energies. This is with people, this is situations and circumstances. But with the King of Swords, this is your energy here, Aquarius. And what Spirit is telling you is that sometimes we cannot be in control. Sometimes it's necessary for us to take a deep breath and take a step back to really take inventory of our life, to see clearly and concisely what areas of our life need work in 
where we need to put more energy or focus towards. And those things in our life that are going good, how we can continue embracing that energy. With the Nine of Wands, this is you've been tested. This is the, the soldier coming back from war. This is being tested and trialed and you have been tested, my dear Aquarius, and you probably feel a bit beat up right now. But what they're telling you here is you must trust the process. The reason for this is because there are blessings that are coming for you, especially when we're talking about finances, career, and your profession. But there's also things that you need to let go of from the past in order to be able to move towards this sun, towards this blessing, towards your happiness. There is a need for you to let go of the past and stop dwelling in the past or stop looking at what you're leaving behind because you need to move forward. Now, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to a relationship. For some of you guys, if there's been some type of separation or breakup, uh, this could even represent being broken up for the past six, seven years here with the Seven of Wands. However, what they're telling you here is that if you are still, and it's easy for us to say, I've moved on. I'm no longer thinking of that person. Like, I've moved on. You know, I'm, I'm no longer dealing with them, Pinky. Okay, that's fine. But what the cards are telling you here is that they still have an effect on you. You're still looking to the past. You're still looking at what you lost. And what they're telling you here with the Page of Cups, it's time for you to embrace a new beginning. It's time for you to let go of anger, resentment, or feeling whatever it is that you're feeling in regards to this person from your past. You need to release that. Why? Because even if we hold anger or even if we uh, hold, you know, resentment, that means that they still have an effect in your present life. And when we move forward or when we have connections or when we connect with someone on an emotional level, they may do things that trigger us or that remind us of a person from the past and then you start comparing. And what they're telling you here is that in order for you to be able to embrace a new beginning as well as a new healthy relationship, you need to let go of the past. You have to clear your heart chakra. You need to be fully present in the connections or the people that you're dealing with. With the King of Wands, this is about trusting yourself. This is about believing in yourself. This is about knowing that you're worthy, Aquarius. This is about understanding that, yes, maybe you've been single for quite a very long time. And something within you, there is a fear here that you have to guard yourself, that you don't need people, that this, that, that, which at the end of the day, you're sending two different signals. You're sending the signal of, I want my happiness and I want to find a person that has the same aspirations or goals that I do, that I can feel emotionally supported, but at the same time, I don't need anyone, right? With your energy here, the king of swords, very methodical, very self-sufficient, very smart, intelligent person. I don't need anyone, Pinky. Nine of Wands, I'm guarded. I can do things on my own. I can make things happen on my own. I don't need from anyone. I've carried the burdens in the past. And the Nine of Wands is propelling to the Ten of Wands, um, which is you carrying on burdens or taking a lot of responsibilities, but you know you're capable of doing it, and no one's doubting that, Aquarius. But this doesn't mean that you don't deserve love. It doesn't mean that you don't deserve to be happy or to feel emotionally supported. The King of Wands speaks about having faith or trust in yourself, knowing exactly what it is that you want, whether you know it or not. So when we talk about that, what they're saying here is if you don't have a clear vision of where you want your life to go or what your goals are, it's time to be writing those down. Because what they're telling you here for the month of February, it's going to be very important to chase after your dreams. That's the only way that growth and expansion is going to come your way. And 
like I said, they're telling me and they're highlighting very strongly here getting out of your comfort zone. So for those of you guys that um, have a business or uh, work for a company and you feel like things are not going well or they're not going as good as they could be, um, it's time for you to uh, try to approach the situation from a different perspective. It's time to uh, take a different route from the, the normal route that you've taken up until now. Because the only way to succeed is through getting out of your comfort zone, is to do things in a very different way. Obviously, what you've been doing up until now has not been working. It's time to flip the script. It's time to do it different. It's a different approach that needs to happen here. Now, for those of you guys in relationships or partnerships, if you feel like things just don't go the way you would want them, it's time for you to approach the situation from a different perspective. Are you chasing people that are emotionally unavailable? Or do you have a tendency of falling for people that are overly emotional and then it's you the one that has a tendency of protecting your energy and falling back because you feel like they want to cage you in. You feel like they are trying to um, suppress you or are kind of, you know, asphyxiating you. Um, what they're saying here, it's time for you to take self-responsibility for your actions. And what they're saying here is for the month of February 2021, it's all about doing things from a very different perspective or taking it to a different, doing it from a different approach. Um, that's the only way you're going to be able to see these manifestations happen. Uh, if you have, if you've been single for quite a while and you just haven't been able to connect well, are you often finding yourself at home or with friends that um, you go to their house and you spend the weekend with them? That, that A person's not going to come in that way. So you need to do it in a different way. You need to be more pushing yourself, propelling yourself, um, getting out of the comfort zone to be able to embrace change. And the only way change is coming to you is if you get out of your own head or get out of your own comfort zone and really move forward, okay? And this is in finances as well. So there is something in the month of February that is going to be unfolding for you guys where you're going to be tested. And the only way to see a amazing outcome here is if you get out of your comfort zone. Stop doing things your old, stubborn ass way because it's not bringing any changes for you unless you do that of shaking things up a bit. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Leo. For others, you may be dealing with fire energy, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius type of energy coming towards you. For others of you, you may also be dealing with water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But what they are saying here is that love, blessings, success in your endeavors are there. They are literally at the tip of your fingers. But it is up to you to grab onto them, to own them, to make it happen. All right, my lovelies. All right, so... Let's get into your spirit's message. Spirit, what are the direct messages for Aquarius for this month of February 2021 in regards to the situation that is going to be unfolding before them? What are the direct messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, Aquarius, your first card here is blessings. Exactly what we just spoke about. There are blessings coming for you. These are blessings that you don't see coming. I feel you guys extremely stressed or worried about either finances or worried about in regards to relationships. But with the blessing card here, you have the sun right underneath the tower. So know that whatever it is that you're going to be tested in for this month of February, whether it's relationships, whether it's career and finances, know that whatever comes from that shakeup, blessings are bestowed upon you. 
blessings are coming and are unfolding before you. This is needed. The tower moment is needed. Why? Because it's going to shake us, because it's going to make us react whether we want to or not. It is necessary for our growth. Your next card here is openness. So yeah, it's about being open. It's about pushing yourself. It's about getting out of the comfort zone. It's about shaking things up. That's where change is coming in. Your next card is new beginnings, my lovely Aquarius. Major message here. Major blessings and transformations that are unfolding before you. They, These situations that you're currently dealing with or will be dealing with have a lot to do with the set of tone that is going into 2021 for you. So again, it is very important to be thankful, count your blessings, keep an open heart and an open mind. You set your own limitations. What are they? Do you have limitations? And if you don't, that is astounding because that means that there is no blockage whatsoever in regards to how many blessings come your way. And new beginnings. There are new changes around you. Change is in the air for you, my Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. I want to wish you guys happy Valentine's and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.